Hi guys and welcome if you're new to this channel. For those of you that have subscribed and followed me from my first uh, video, thank you and please enjoy the rest of this video. As I mentioned last week, I was going to show you this week on how to edit the video that was shown uh, and using the VivaCut app. So here it is and I hope you enjoy and find it useful. Okay, so we'll make a start. Uh, on this screen, uh, you can see the VivaCut uh, icon and the DJI uh, Mimo, which is the interface uh, app between the phone and the uh, gimbal, which I use in the film. Uh, so let's go into VivaCut and see what we've got. So as you open it up, uh, you get into the home screen, uh, where... Along the bottom half of the screen, you can see the uh, drafts of the some of the clips I'm working on currently. Uh, what I'll do this time is we'll go and create a uh, a new project, and so we'll hit the create. So I'm going to create. It takes us into our video images, uh, and also the picture images if you want to select them. So you could go into that, uh, pick your select your uh, various things. So to, if you've got a folder where you want to, uh, where you've organised uh, clips to go into, if you hit the uh, system icon, it will open up all your folders. Let's do that again. So I want to use uh, what I put in the test folder recently. So uh, to get started, we need to select the clips to drag into the actual uh project itself so i'll go around and as you see as i uh, click these along the bottom they start to appear uh in a, some sort of order i'm selecting and there they appear uh at the bottom in timeline uh, one good thing we we can do on this app is uh, so you can see all the clips together uh, in the timeline is if you squeeze together the uh, bottom timeline you will see see the actual clips themselves uh, which are separated by the uh, double arrows so uh, if you have a look in this uh, the first box before the uh, double arrow this was the, fir the first clip section as it moves into the second uh, if you've got the order wrong and you you don't like the sequence of how they are it's very easy to actually move them around so for example if I want to move the third clip into the second uh, position just press and hold on to it and move it and drop it into where you want it very simple very easy Okay, if you uh, notice as well that uh, between the clips, such as this, between clip one and clip two, it's very, very harsh. Uh, some people like that. I personally like to pull transition in. So where you see the white box with the two inward pointing arrows, that's a transition point. So if we press on that, it will open up the transitions. So we've got uh, various types of transitions here. We've got the uh, 3D. Uh, very nice. I, I'm not so struck on them. Uh, I, I much prefer the uh, simple uh, transitions. So if we uh, look at doing the spin to the left. So we'll have a spin to the left. And uh, see, see what happens on, on this. So let's just have a look at that. So press done and let's have a look at this transition. Yep, so I'm quite happy with that. Right, uh, another thing this uh, app can do is we can add text at any point in the uh, uh, timeline. So the way that we can do this is 
where your uh, action line is we can select a position where you want to add text let's put it here and by hitting the uh, text item on the bottom will bring up uh, the text screen so we can put in let's put in testing done. now if you see what it's appeared on the screen uh, what we can do with it now is we can move it around make it bigger move it uh, change angles once we're happy with the the text of it what, what we can do then is also uh, we can change the font very similar to what you've got on your laptops and PC and the color various different colors quite like that one uh, we can add a stroke in it and the thickness shadow you can switch on uh, what else we can do oh can also I think uh, animate it so I'm not sure how this one particular works on this so it allows you to move it along No, nope, not sure on that one. I'll have to get back to that. What we can do as well, while the uh, the green text box is open, we can actually uh, extend it through the uh, the actual clip for as long as we want. So and shorten it. Uh, we can actually uh, by clicking on it, move it and reposition it. Um, so coming off it again. What we've actually got when we go through, it stops on for as long as uh, we like. Whilst we're talking about uh, titles, there's another thing that uh, we can do with it. So, uh, if we click onto the the green title section on the uh, storyboard there, and open it up. Um, you see along the bottom there's something called VFX. Now these are special, uh, if you like, certain animations, preset animations that it can do. So we can select for as long or whatever. So on this one you have to actually hold and press, press it to get the effect. You can then move on to another one. And, con and continue with it and same again so what we've got in effect is when we uh, run this bit of a sequence there's a slight animation to the texture so that's our section of it. While we're talking about VFX, uh, I've just shown you how we can uh, sort of animate the title uh, there. What we can also do, we can also animate and put special effects onto uh, the actual timeline itself in, in the storyboard. So if I move towards the end of the uh, clips, I start it about there. So always use your action line as a point of starting anything. So now, if I press on to and open up the FX se uh, section and go along and try and find an animation or a, a special effect, this one's quite nice, uh, the Peter. So if I press and hold on this. I get that sort of effect so just just playing uh, that in itself well, let's have a look and see what that does mm -hmm. 
The last thing I want to show you today is how to add uh, background uh, music to your uh, story. So it's very simple, if we start at the beginning, and it's straightforward enough. So tap uh, and the, on the storyboard timeline, just where, at the bottom of it, just where it says tap to add music, tap on that and it will open up your audio files. So whether you've, uh, whether from online, what you've downloaded, or my music. So from this, this online, we'll just select one. Uh, let's try a uh, travel light. I don't know what it is or what it does. So we'll add, we'll add this one to uh, so it. All you need to do is just hit the add button. Once we've hit the add button, it then transposes itself uh, actually into the timeline storyboard uh, you tap on it while it's open what we can do is you can uh, fade in and fade out also as well you can alter the volume so I'll put it around about somewhere around there around about 29 and uh, this is what it sounds like. So, all in all, very easy to do. Once you've finished editing and you're happy with your clip, the last thing you need to do is uh, export it into an MP4 uh, file. So, like I say, once you're finished and you're happy, at the top of the uh, screen, there's a uh, purple export button. Just tap on that. It will then ask you to choose an export resolution. Uh, that's all dependent on what your phone is and what, uh, what it can do uh, or your camera. So what I normally do, or what I've done in the, uh, I've been recommended to do, is uh, select the highest uh, possible resolution, so uh, 4K Ultra HD. So now uh, it takes a while, depending on the size of the actual uh, and length of the file. Uh, it takes a while to actually export. Once it's finished exporting, it will end up in your gallery uh, as a video. Well, there you have it. Uh, as you can see from the video, I'm very raw and new at using this particular app. In fact, any app. Uh, if you've seen my first video, you can see the results, which I'm very satisfied in. And just with a little bit of effort and time put into it, you can get such uh, rewards from it. And like I said, find it very, very satisfying. So if you've uh, liked this video, please hit the like button. If you wish to follow me on my journey of discovery, please uh, uh, subscribe below and thank you for watching.